All right, class, welcome to the video that is the construction of a pentagon given a side. Okay, so we're going to start by and going to our segment tool and constructing our first side here. This will be the bottom side of our pentagon, and we will show our labels for point A and point B. Okay. And so in order to do that, you just right click on it. Okay. Our first um, part of the construction is we need to construct the top vertex uh, here. And it's halfway in between A and B if you go along this line. So the first thing that we need to do is to do the perpendicular bisector. So we use this tool. We'll bisect these two points. By, um, and then we'll get our, be able to get our vertex up here. So this vertex is halfway between these two points in our pentagon. Okay, so in order to use a perpendicular bisector tool, we click on it, we select it from our menu, from the perpendicular menu, and you click on A, move your uh, mouse over to B, and it'll snap to B, and click on B again, so, that is the, so it'll bisect it. We're gonna construct this point in here. Okay, and we'll label that point C. Okay, and somewhere up here is our top vertex. Now we know the position this way. Okay, up and down here we, or it's left and right. We know it's up here in between A and B, but we don't know how high it is. Okay, and that'll be the next part of our construction. So what we need to do is we need to extend AB. And if we want to extend AB, we need to use our line tool, which is in this menu here. So we can just, you know, do A, click on A to C or A to B. Just click there, and make that our line. We will be constructing a point out here somewhere to help us find out how tall the vertex is. Okay, so we'll construct this point out here so we can get up here. In order to do that, we're going to do a couple of intermediary steps. We need to construct a perpendicular from B, perpendicular to this line that we just constructed, to go up here. And we need this point right here, which is actually like the square, okay, like the vertex of a square. So we'll go back to our perpendicular menu and do perpendicular line. Perpendicular line, we can click on the line and then on the point, or vice versa. So this is the perpendicular line to B, to AB through B and we need to construct this point up here, which is the same distance as it is from A to B. So I'm going to click on B with my circle tool and go out to A and click on A. Now on the pencil and paper construction we marked, we made a little mark here with our compass, but with this dynamic geometry, we have to use our full circle. So I'm going to construct this point up here. This will be my point D. And I'll show that label. Okay, point D. And we have that distance constructed here. We're going to open our compass on the pencil and paper instructions. It says open compass to CD. And so we and we're going to, from C, we're going to mark E on AB, which means that I'm going to open my compass to CD, which is our circle tool. We'll use our undo for that one. Try to position this better. Okay. Use our circle tool. Open up to CD. So I click on C, go all the way up to D. When we click, when we open our compass up to CD and I mark it from CD, I have the radius CD. The point E is going to be right here. So I'm going to mark that because it's the same radius as CD. So as you can see, our, our picture is getting a little bit tricky, but it's okay. It makes it fun. So we'll show our label here. So there's point E. We're going to open our compass up to AE now. So we're going to open up from A to E. And when we do that, we um, will create a circle, and that will be where our vertex is up here. 
um, on our perpendicular bisector. Okay. So use our circle tool, go from A to E. This will be a big one. And click. Now it's off the screen here, so I'm going to zoom out by going up here. And where that circle from A to E has an intersection up here on the perpendicular bisector. So I'm going to use my point tool to construct the intersection of that point. And then I'm going to label that point F. Okay. So point F is the top vertex of my pentagon. Did our top vertex? We're going to construct all the side vertices here. That. And one of them is right here, so we'll construct this intersection here, and we'll show our label G. Okay, so we have four of our five vertices of our pentagon. We need a point like G over here on this left side. Now G is the intersection of a circle that goes around that goes from A to B. Okay. And it's also the, set, uh, the intersection of a large circle that goes from F to A, F to A. So what we need to do is we need to construct a circle that is that two circles that mirror what we've just done. So we'll need our circle tool. We're going to construct a circle that goes from A to B, and then B to F. Okay, and that intersection is right here. And then we have our point H. Oops. So label. Okay. So we're going to kind of recenter our circles here. There's lots of circles. Zoom in here. And we'll we have our pentagon as F G A B G. F H A B G. So we'll Go ahead and, and let's go ahead and hide some circles. And then we can go ahead and, and then after that construct our, um, our segments. Can I see that? Yep, that will, that's so good. Okay, so let's do on our line menu, there's our segments, constructing the segments of our pentagon. Oops. And voila, we have our pentagon. Now let's check our the dynamic geometry part of it so it can go small and go big. Okay, so all of the Moving the side length is forces everything else to move, and everything is looking like they're staying in place. Okay, so there's our pentagon. Given a side.